In this video, we're going to tell you about a shop glitch for the merchant in Siege of Paris DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which launched on August 12th. The shop glitch will allow you to upgrade your gear as much as twice as fast, allowing you to buy titanium and tungsten in twice the quantities, along with other normal merchant items, such as the XP boost from the Scrolls of Knowledge. So every level up, you can get two skill points plus two more skill points with Scrolls of Knowledge that you buy from two different merchants. So that's a 100% XP boost if you have a level six settlement. And that happens every time you level up and then go to the merchants and buy the Scrolls of Knowledge. With this Siege of Paris glitch, if you're at max level, you can get two mastery points. But I don't recommend buying two mastery points unless you're really rolling in silver and have a really good glitch, like the rune duplication glitch. Which I am still doing after patch 1.30, but most players cannot do that. You may or may not know this, but the merchant resets every time you level up. But all the merchants in Assassin's Creed Valhalla are linked. And what your merchant offers is a function of what settlement level you're at. But if you're at max settlement level, the merchant's going to offer tungsten, titanium, carbon, nickel, a lot of arrows, and a lot of runes. And those are going to refresh after every level up. If you're at a lower level, perhaps the merchant's only going to have leather and iron and carbon, but if you're at a higher level, you might be able to buy nickel, titanium, and tungsten. And the level is not based on your level of a character, but the settlement level for Ravensthorpe in England. So you really want to maximize your settlement level as fast as possible in England if you've not done so already. You do that by doing raids within England and and doing story arcs that give you raw materials or supplies. So the when you go to the Ranvi's map, it tells you what the rewards are and prioritize the story maps that give you raw materials to build new settlement buildings. So where do you go to get this extra merchant, right? If all the merchants are linked, well, you want to go to the, quote, cat town in the Siege of Paris DLC, right? That's the town where you're supposed to pet all the cat. It's called Evero or Everex, and it's in Everson province. And that town has got a merchant and a stable, and the merchant's right next to the tavern there. The fast travels the top of a church. And you could me easily miss this merchant because she's standing outside. But she does have a dialogue icon, and that was the only reason I talked to her. And so after you level up, she will reset all her merchandise, including her tattoos. So you could buy her tattoos multiple times. I don't think you want to do that. That's a waste of money. I've done it thinking that maybe those were new tattoos. I've not seen any glitches associated with her tattoos, except that they there are multiple of them. And I'm not able to put one of the arm pieces on, but I've not seen any Huntsman-like appearances of armor yet. But instead of buying 200 iron every level, you can buy 400 iron. And I think for most players, buying out all the iron, buying all the leather, buying all the titanium makes sense so you can upgrade as many pieces of gear to their max level as you want. And I've not farmed tungsten in 200 levels because I've been just buying tungsten from the merchant and that's been far and away enough to fully upgrade my gear to mythical status. Now the intermediate upgrades I've had trouble keeping up with just with the merchant and I've not been farming titanium and iron for the most part just because it's so time consuming and I've just been focusing on the pieces of gear that I like to use to do the full upgrade. But the point is, if you are upgrading your gear, you should have a shortage of titanium and iron and anything that increases your capacity to buy those is a great thing. And it should allow you to upgrade much more of your gear to the max level. So every time you level up, go to any merchant, except Evero, and buy out all their iron titanium, probably leather for most people, 
and probably tungsten for most people. But also, you know, nickel is needed in a lot of high-level areas. Carbon, you're probably going to be okay with carbon in most cases. And then go to Evero, that is the cat petting place. And by the way, the cats are bugged. I've been trying to pet all the cats in Evero, and most of them won't let me pet, pet them. So that trophy is bugged. Uh, surprise, surprise, in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So subscribe to Li the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla.